All right, picture the weirdest animal you can imagine. Got it? Okay, now forget it, because the platypus is weirder. When scientists first saw a dead one in the 1700s, they thought it was a prank. Seriously, they tried to pull the duck bill off, looking for stitches. It looks like someone glued a duck's face to an otter, stuck a beaver tail on the back, and called it a day. Naming it was a nightmare. Water mole? bird-skinned mammal, they finally settled on platypus, which just means flat foot. Then the real fight started. Is it a bird? A mammal? A reptile? Yes. It has fur, but it lays eggs. It has a beak, but no teeth. It has no stomach. And in perhaps nature's most confusing design choice, everything down there, you know, pee, poop, babies, all comes out of the same one hole. Zoologists were baffled. Finally, someone found tiny pores on the females that ooze milk. No nipples, just sweat milk. So it was declared a mammal, but a very, very weird one in its own special club, the monotremes. But wait, it gets better. In 2004, scientists found the platypus has 10 sex chromosomes. Most mammals have two. That means, in theory, it could have had 25 different genders. Thankfully, nature hit pause on that experiment, and it stuck with just male and female. Oh, and the males have venomous spurs on their back legs with a cocktail of 83 different toxins, borrowed from snakes, lizards, and fish. This thing is a living chemistry set. So why does it look so... chaotic? My theory? It's evolution's middle child. It's like the transitional phase between reptiles and mammals frozen in time. Imagine evolution playing poker. One round ended, the next hasn't started, and the platypus is just sitting there with a mixed deck. It's been around for millions of years, barely changing, not extinct, not normal, just wonderfully, gloriously absurd. A reminder that nature doesn't always follow the rules, sometimes it just throws everything at the wall to see what sticks. And honestly, we're lucky it did.